What's the stupidest thing you ever seen a religious person call satanic? The same teacher who taught abstinence only sex class took away my deck of magic cards because they were satanic. How am I supposed to keep my virginity without my magic cards? Did you get it back? The magic cards or the virginity? Oh God, don't tell me the teacher took both. Classic Catholics Being left-handed, a church I visited wouldn't let me play music BC of it. Medieval and early modern witch hunters used to believe left-handed people were witches, because it was unnatural. In fact, the word sinister comes from the Latin word for left. My wife's mother pulled her out of the Care Bears movie when she was a kid because the bears were casting satanic spells out of their stomachs. My wife still holds a grudge. I appreciate your wife's dedication to this grudge. I will die mad about it, in solidarity. That was rude AF. A toothache. The devil is trying to enter my body. Was the quote. Initially I thought they were making a weird joke. They were serious. Ah yes, teeth. The portal to the soul. They are the root of all evil. I knew this Christian lady that refused to eat deviled eggs. Edit. My wife said her cousins weren't allowed to eat candy on Halloween when they were kids because their mom didn't want to celebrate the devil's birthday. Had a young cousin who thought they were doubled eggs until a relative corrected him. He refused to eat them afterwards. Much cuter hill to die on when you're only four. Without a shred of sarcasm I once heard an evangelical describe hot Cheetos as a product of the devil. It's because Terry's fire on the package isn't there. No. They felt tempted by the mascot. Stupid, sexy cheetah. For a while I wasn't allowed to use the word weird because it was associated with witchcraft. Apparently because Shakespeare wrote about the witches of weird. Edited to say, thanks to those of you who are knowledgeable about Shakespeare and are able to explain how ridiculous of a claim this was. It's helpful to hear as an adult. But eight-year-old me didn't have a leg to stand on at the time. I was just trying not to burn in hell for all eternity. The Shakespearean comes from the Old English word weird, pronounced like weird, but round your lips on the vowel, which meant fate fates. The three witches in Macbeth were called witches of the weird because they were implied to actually be the three fates that weave the world fabric in pagan mythology, shaping Macbeth's destiny. A Scotsman should have known better than to give his true name to three ladies stirring a cauldron in the woods so he kinda deserved it tbh. No true Scotsman would give his name to three ladies stirring a cauldron in the woods. Godzilla because God's name shouldn't be used like that. Told his kids there was a spelling error and it's actually called Godzilla. I didn't expect this to come up. I don't think that he knows that Godzilla is literally the English transliteration of Gojira. Edit, changed a word after it was pointed out to me. Thanks, home slices. Back in the 70s it was a lot of stupid, barcodes. The little symbol on Procter Gamble products. Yoga and or meditation. Lots of different music by different artists. My small town Christian private school had a particular teacher who was absolutely dying mad about his students' fondness for Michael Jackson, ACDC, and other bands of the time. The funniest one of all was dancing. The joke around my, conservative Christian, college in the 80s was that sex was outlawed because it could lead to dancing. For some bizarre reason the administration thought dancing was totally evil. Footloose intensifies. I remember a lady saying she refused to eat mushrooms, they were satanic because they grew in the dark. Oh I love that. That's hilariously ridiculous. I'm finding out so many fun, stupid, stupid, stupid new things that people think are satanic. The peace symbol my HS biology teacher saw me wearing one explain the symbol. It's an inverted cross. The sides have been bent down away from God. That guy definitely sounds like he taught evolution. My mom called my art satanic because I drew dragons and wolves with horns when I was a kid. Same. I drew some things that came to mind from that Led Zeppelin song that has stuff about Lord of the Rings in it and got accused of being demonic. An energy drink edit, yes I was talking about monster. And the devil laughs. Do you know what a MILF is? Monster is Lucifer's friend. Movie theaters. My dad couldn't go to movie theaters as a kid, because his parents are so obsessively religious. 
My friend's parents wouldn't let her watch any Jim Carrey movie because of that devil horn hairdo in Ace Ventura. DND, but strangely enough not the Lord of the Rings. Yeah, I was forbidden from DND as a kid but encouraged to read Tolkien and see. S. Lewis. But they were both nice, safe, Christian authors. As someone who grew up on the Chronicles of Narnia it's basically about a group of siblings who play Jesus DND. My dad wouldn't let me watch anything that had magic or monsters because he thought it would let demons into the house. This included Power Rangers, Ben 10, H20 Just Add Water, Harry Potter, Scooby-Doo and more. The most ridiculous one was not letting me watch Jesse on Disney Channel. This had no magic or monsters but he thought that the pet lizard one of the characters had represented the snake that deceived Eve into eating the apple. I am an 80s kid and I wasn't allowed to watch all the Saturday morning cartoons, He-Man, Shira, Jem, My Little Pony, Gummy Bears, etc. BC they had magic in them and magic is of the devil. I just waited till I got to my grandpa's house on the weekends and watched them and stayed up all night watching Cartoon Network, lol. Now when I tell people all that it's hilarious. Edit. 80s 90s kids since people being pedantic want to point out that Cartoon Network was in the 90s, lol. Yep it's so crazy, I was a child that watched cartoons in two different decadacy no. Vegetarianism. Giving the devils let us a whole new meaning. The sound of an electric guitar. Mental gymnastics. Music makes you feel things. Believe it or not straight to hell. Feeling stuff is a sin. Actually isn't that a legit view of St. Augustine? That music makes you feel and therefore is a temptation of the devil, and that only music that directs prayer and faith not inherently evil? That's how we ended up with Gregorian chants and other bangin' tunes of that Ilkirk. Frank Zappa's album Jazz from Hell was required to have an explicit lyric sticker. It is instrumental. Once I had a classmate and she had a cartilage piercing, we had an assembly and this group of people people with puppets came and told the story of Easter, at the end we were walking out and one of the people from the group walked over to my classmate and said what is that thing on your ear? She said it's a cartilage piercing and the person from the group walked over to where the group was packing their stuff and said she has definitely got to have worship the devil. That disgusting ear piercing she's got. Rocks. I'm a rock hound, and collect rocks, gems, and stones. The link between crystals and spirituality has gotten me called a devil worshipper for liking rocks. I don't even use them spiritually, I just like shiny shit. Masters of the Universe. It was back in the 80s. My crazy, over-the-top, religious aunt said, it's satanic. There is only one master of the universe and it's God. Six Yomi rolled my eyes so hard, I'm sure you could hear the noise it made. When we'd watch Bill Nye the Science Guy, during the intro song he states science rules. My mother would make sure to counter with God rules. Every time. The inherent insecurity in all the folks that do stuff like that just blows my mind. Women speaking or asking questions in church. That one damn verse. The Lord of the Rings works and the Chronicles of Narnia. Both Tolkien and Lewis were devout Christians. Edit, wow, I didn't realize this would blow up like it did. Not only devout Christians but Narnia is literally about Christ. Any Christian worth their salt would recognize the similarities in the story. Especially when Eslan is killed by the White Witch. Like. He was basically crucified lol. Harry Potter. 14-year-old me with a CD player. This benefited me so much. My best friend's psycho religious mom found all the rock music my friend had been secretly buying. Told her she had to get rid of it all. She gave it all to me. It wasn't much, but I remember two Bush albums and I think of my good old friend and her nutso mom anytime I hear a Bush song. Sporks. I once heard someone say, the spork is the devil's utensil because it is the amalgamation of the masculine fork and the feminine spoon and is trying to blur gender lines in society. My mom was terrified I'd accidentally summon a demon playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Hate it when that happens. 